Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And surprise, surprise, today is yet another Lush haul. And this is from an order I placed on May 18th. And in this package, you're going to be seeing a couple items from the Father's Day line. So, let's get to it. So we only have a couple kitchen photographs. And that's the damage. Right off the bat, I spy the samples bag, so let's take that out to look at later. And it's just covered in luster. Oh my goodness, just look at that. Oh. Might as well look at this one first. And goodness gracious, look at that. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just dirty. <laughs> dirty and I know why um, it's covered in pink luster and we will get to that when we get to that. But anyway, this is the Luro shower gel. So I cleaned the bottle up as best I could and it's not looking too bad. But take a look at the napkin. Look how much luster came off that bottle. It's a lot of luster guys. So let's get back to this shower gel. And let's read what the ingredients are in this. So we have um, fresh organic lemon infusion, fine sea salt, lemon myrtle oil, Brazilian orange oil, sandalwood oil, macadamia nut oil, and gardenia extract. So they filled it pretty high, but I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit runny. So you know what, let me see if shaking it changes the consistency. So it didn't change anything. It's still runny. The scent in this is pretty nice. I can smell the citrus, the, you know, the lemon and the orange. But it's not that bright, um, wake you up kind of scent. Because that sandalwood is giving it that um, deeper richness to it. And you can also smell the floral in this as well. So it's kind of a unique um, scent. And the Allure Shower Gel was made by Sam, so thank you, Sam. I don't know if I pointed it out in one of my earlier videos, but it says here on how to use a shower gel, it says, if you really don't know, why don't you invite a mate you really like into the shower to demonstrate? Quite kinky. That little compartment just looks so dirty. It looks like something exploded. It looks like it's coming from um, the samples, probably. So we'll take a look at that later and see if... That's what's making all this mess in here, besides that pink um, product that you'll be seeing soon, which should be in here, but we'll look at that last. So let's take a look at this one right here. Oh, looks like there's some damage here. Let's look at this one. Maybe this one isn't damaged. All right, so... This is, I believe, the Mud Father Bubble Bar. The ingredients in this are cream of tartar, corn flour, and Brazilian orange oil. So this has a very nice fragrance. It smells citrusy, and I really like this. It's a small bubble bar, but it's pretty thick, as you can see right there. It kind of looks like a bullseye or maybe even like a superhero shield or something. Don't you think so? So let's see how badly this is damaged. So it doesn't look too bad from the front, but if you turn it to the side, yeah, you can see a whole bunch is missing. But that's okay. I almost forgot to mention that the Mod Father bubble bars are part of the Father's Day line. So you should be able to find this in the shop soon if they're not there already, or you can order them online. Let's look at the other side. Ooh, I know what this one is, and I hope, I hope, I hope it's not damaged. So it's taking me forever. Let's try and pull this out. Carefully. Oh gosh, I feel like it's going to break. Alright, so this humongous thing 
This is called the Sunflower Bubba Bar, and it is freaking huge, guys. This came out last year for Mother's Day, and a lot of people were hoping that it was going to come out again this year for Mother's Day, but it didn't. But better late than never, right? So I'm wondering, maybe it's so huge because sunflowers are huge. And just to compare, this is <laughs> the Mod Father Bubba Bar, and that's the Sunflower Bubba Bar. So you can see just how big it is. So I'm definitely going to demo that. But for sure, I am not going to use the entire thing because then my tub will definitely be overflowing with bubbles. And we don't want that, now do we? This has cream of tartar, corn flour, sunflower petals, Sicilian lemon oil, and gardenia extract. And this has a great, wonderful lemony scent. It's so uplifting and bright, and I'm so glad that I got two of them. So this is the second bubble bar. And I think I'll be able to have like four baths out of this. Um, I don't want to stretch it out to like six or eight like some people. I think that would be a good amount of um, bubble bar to use in the tub, don't you think? Like I just do it right here. That's not too, too, too much, right? So the second one is definitely damaged. There's a split right down here. And there's a triangular shape right over here where it's disconnected from the rest of the bubble bar. And it's quite crumbly over here as well. But that's okay because I'm just going to have to split it anyway when I use it. I think I'm just going to show you what this one looks like. But end up using this at the end. The Sunflower Bubble Bar was made by Dan, so thank you, Dan. And if you go in for a closer look, that's what the bubble bar looks like. So let's finish up this left side. Oh, I know what this one is. This is the Yellow Submarine Bath Bomb. And just look how cute it is. So I saw a demo of this when it came out at the Lush Summit this February in the UK. And it's creamy and frothy. And this part is going to shoot out yellow and the tail end, which unfortunately seemed to have been cut off and damaged, is going to shoot out pink. And I'm hoping that um, as you put it in the bathtub, it's going to start chugging away in the water as if it's, you know, like a boat. And the trail end, the pink part, will just cut through the yellow. So it's going to look really pretty. So I'm hoping that's what's going to happen when I demo this for you guys. This has Brazilian orange oil, coriander seed oil, lemongrass oil, and fandango luster. This bath bomb smells a little bit powdery. Um, and the Brazilian orange in this is kind of muted. It's, it's kind of faint. And some people say it smells like coconut. And I'm going to have to agree with them somewhat because it does have that coconutty scent to it. So, um, that's the bath bomb. I'm sorry if it's kind of awkward showing it to you, but I wanted to show you what it looked like at all angles. Now we'll delve into the middle section. And this one, ooh, it's, it's quite big. I didn't expect it to be this big. This is the Super Dad Bath Bomb, and this is from the Father's Day line, obviously. This is a pretty cool looking bath bomb. It kind of reminds me of the old Batman TV show where you have Batman and Robin beating up the villains, and it says, like, pow, and bam, and it's framed with, you know, like, something like this. So it just kind of reminds me that, yes, you know, sometimes you think your dad is a superhero. So this is what it reminds me of, a superhero bat bomb. This has a woodsy yet sweet scent. I really like it. It smells really nice. And it's different from the mom bath bomb from the Mother's Day line because it's heavier, it's bigger, and it's definitely not going to be a fast fizzer.
This is my other yellow submarine. And you know what? Maybe it wasn't broken because it has that same cut off edge to it as well for the second bath bomb. So this is the last compartment and this is where all the pink luster came from. Maybe you might guess where it is already. It is the new reformulated Think Pink bath bomb. So this one is decidedly larger than the original Think Pink bath bomb. This was also introduced at the Lush Summit this year. This has corn flower, silver glimmer luster, fandango pink luster, lavender oil, tonka absolute, vanilla absolute, and neroli oil. I really like this bath bomb. I enjoy the sweetness of the tonka and the vanilla, and you also have that lavender peeking through it. Look at all that luster, all that pink luster down there. Look how pink and shimmery my fingers are just from holding that bath bomb. I almost forgot about the sample, so let's get to it. We have Enzymian Moisturizer, Herbalism Facial Cleanser, Cosmetic Lad Facial Moisturizer, Ultra Bland Cleanser, and Celestial Moisturizer. Well, that's it for this Lush haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that red subscribe button below. You can also follow me on Instagram. Until then, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!